Hey friends, today it's all about that start to your day, getting it nice and tasty so that the rest of it is always a win. Today we're doing three ways to top your oatmeal. So in goes what we call these lovely rolled oats into a pot. You want to look after your oats, so when you're cooking it, just do so on a low to medium heat. I'm just going to cover them with some water. I love when you can start to see it soften up. Now oats are very thirsty. So, make sure you keep giving them plenty of hydration. Rather than keep adding water though, this is what I like to do, just to give that extra nutty and creaminess, I add a milk. Now you can use dairy, but I prefer almond milk, or you can use coconut milk too. Today, we're using almond. And you can see it's still cooking by that steam that's coming through. So just be mindful of that. So even if it's a bit liquidy, still turn the heat off because it's going to evaporate as time goes. As I said, we're doing three different toppings today and like anything, they've got to be fun. So the first one, we're doing an apple pie topped oatmeal. So I've got here some apple puree, just simple as unsweetened, just apples themselves. And then obviously you've got to get yourself an apple too. The texture, the crunch, the crispiness, the freshness. Take a portion of the apple puree and into your bowl. Give that a bit of a mix and add in a sprinkling of cinnamon and for effect, do it from the height. Next, top it off with some beautiful apples themselves. A sprinkling of chia seeds. And then, you guys have been watching my channel for some time now, so you know I've got an absolute devilish problem with some sort of butter, in this case, almond. Yeah. Apple pie, check. Step number two, we're going banana bread choc chip. Just mash up a banana. I'm probably gonna use half, because the other half, I'll leave the topping. For that true banana bread flavour, just a touch of maple syrup. And then of course, a little bit extra chocolate goodness to say hello. And then the third and final option, we're going to do a sticky date or sticky toffee pudding style oatmeal. Not only do these amazing things taste great, but once you guys chop up your dates, they make your oatmeal super chewy juicy and even the more next level. So pop in your chewy goodness, get your spur on, add in some desiccated coconut. For some added crunch, you guys should definitely use any nut that you prefer, walnuts, pecans, I'm using almonds today, but again, just choose whatever you love. So you've got the creaminess of that oatmeal, the chewiness of the dates, and of course the crunch of your almonds, your pecans, your walnuts, whatever you're choosing. It's an overload of texture that all balanced out so well. And we finish off, just get a bit of a sprinkle of those chia seeds and some gorgeous honey. And there you have the third and final one. So my friends, Make sure you try this, create your oatmeal base, and then of course, you have three different variations at your disposal. If you want more, make sure you subscribe, because every week I've got some more tastiness coming your way. And if you want to know which one's my favorite, I think you have to try and find out for yourself, which means you have to make it. I believe in you. Check you next week, my friends.